This conference will now be recorded. Yeah. So we will have, keep it as an interactive session. So Venu and Rashmini, can you guys uh, tell me what is your background? So what do you guys, do you guys know about the automation testing? If not, we will start from auto, what is automation, why automation? Uh, Venu and Rashmini? Yeah, yeah, I'm not aware of automation testing. But, um, uh, so, knowledge and performance. Performance only, is it? Yeah, yes, yes. Oh, got it. Uh, how about you, Ashwini? Uh, Ashwini? Ashwini, are you there? Okay. Uh, so. Ashwini, can you hear me? Can you remain in unmute? Can you unmute? Okay. Yeah. Okay, Ashwini, got it. Uh, so, if you have any doubts, just ping me. So can you just ping me your uh, background? Do you know about what is automation testing? Or else we will start from that. Sure. Uh, do you know what is automation testing? Okay. Cool. Uh, so Venu got dropped off. Uh, just wait a bit. Wait. No, no, no. I'm here. I said it. Uh, you are here, is it? Okay. Okay, well, cool. Uh, so uh, Ashwini has some background in automation, but I will tell you from basic what is automation, why we do automation. So let me share my screen. Uh, can you guys see my screen? No, not visible. Not visible, sir. Uh, just a minute. One minute. Let me just uh, restart it. One minute. Okay. Fine. Sorry, guys. Sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, can you guys see my screen now? Is it visible now? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. How yes. Yes. Okay. So if you take manual testing, let's say a uh, UI. So if you are basically testing a UI application, UI in the sense a user interface, and uh, user interface in the sense basically a website. 
uh, basically a user will be interacting with any application via ui right so it can be via browser do you guys agree uh venu do you agree dude yes yes yeah so let's say google.com so this is one website of google then we will be entering some detail here right to search for something isn't it so uh, if we if we write a test case so let's say you are working in google and uh, you want to test this function search functionality is working fine or not so how can i do this so first thing is i need to open this browser any browser so i have chrome i'll go to google.com in google.com in this text box i will be typing mobile let's say i'm searching for mobile then all the results should be relevant to mobile so if that's the thing the test case we can consider the functionality is working fine uh, do you guys agree ashwini and venu yeah yeah so i'll just break down the steps verify that the search functionality is working and what are the steps for this open any browser type the search text so in this case mobile we will be searching for mobile then Either the search result is relevant. Can we break down the test case like this? Ashwini and Venu. Yes. yes. Can we break down the test case like yes. this? Yeah. Yes. So, uh, so what is manual testing? So, if you ask, what is manual testing? Is as a tester who is working in an organization i'll be going through each steps and i'll be performing it manually so i will see the first step okay first i need to open the browser so i will open some browser then i will the second step is uh, okay mr the second step go to www.google.com so second step i will go to google.com third step i will see this okay i will i have to search for mobile then i have to check whether that is displayed or not so this is a manual testing so this is how you will be doing manual testing so can you think of any drawbacks of this manual testing cons uh, where can you think of any drawbacks of this manual testing uh, basically time taking and then every time you need to perform all the four steps I mean, any time yes. you wanted to do that particular test case, you need to run it manually. Let's say you wanted to run yep. four times, you need mm. to do the all steps four four times. Yes, I agree. Uh, how about you, Venu? Yes, yes, I agree. Yeah. So we need to keep on repeating uh, the step. One is time taken. That's time taken in the sense I have to read all the steps one by one, and then I have to perform it, right? So obviously it will be time taken, right, Venu? Ah uh, yes, sir. Yeah. And another thing is, yeah. it can be error prone as well. Error prone. Why error prone in the sense? Let's say you are testing this feature ten times. If you are testing the same test case ten times, you may test it correctly. What if you are testing the same thing for the hundredth time? So if you are testing the same uh, test case for the hundredth time, you may get a confidence. Hey, I I already executed it 99 times. This time also it will work. So let's you may skip some steps, right? Do you agree? Uh, do you agree, Venu? Yeah. Yeah. So you may skip some steps. So that's why it can be error prone as well. So that is one more drawback. And another drawback is money. So time. Uh, every resource of an organization will be paid based upon the time, right? So if time is more, obviously money will be more, right? From the from the company's end. So these are all the drawbacks related to manual testing. Uh, is it clear, Manu? 
Yeah, okay. Yeah. So that's why we will be doing something called as automation. So automation will be performing the same steps. The test case still remains the same. We will perform the same steps, but instead of doing it manually, instead of opening the browser, typing everything, searching for this, we will use any programming language or any instead of any framework. I will tell framework to do this for us. It's fine. The basic idea we will be using any framework to do this for us. So there are many frameworks available out there. Uh, I guess you guys might have heard about Selenium. Uh, did you guys heard about Selenium? Yeah. Yeah. So one is Selenium. Uh, other one, the popular one is Cypress. WebDriver IO, which is the topic what we will be discussing. Then UFT, like uh, what Ashwini has mentioned. So these are all few tools which are a few tools or frameworks which are available out there which can help you to automate the steps. Is it clear, Venu? Yeah. Yeah. So awesome. we'll perform the same steps by using any of these tools. So we will be picking the tool called as WebDriver IO. So what is WebDriver IO? Uh, one minute. Let me just check the ping. Okay, I didn't got any ping. Okay, I'll continue. Okay, so we will be using this particular framework, which is WebDriver IO. WebDriver IO is nothing but Selenium. We will be again using the library Selenium. So then you can ask what's the difference in WebDriver IO, right? We will be using Selenium with JavaScript. Have you guys heard about JavaScript? Yes. Yeah, how about you, Venu? JavaScript, did you heard about this? Yes, yes. Yeah, so JavaScript is a programming language. So uh, WebDriver IO is nothing other than Inside WebDriver IO, you will be having Selenium, some a framework called a Selenium, and you will be using JavaScript to write your code. So, how can I do this? Uh, how can we able to achieve this? And if I go to uh, the website called a Selenium, so say this is Selenium's own website. You can see the website is Selenium dot dev. If you scroll down. Uh, let me just click on this Selenium web driver. Read more. Not read more. Let me just click on support. Projects. Oh, they will be listing out every one minute. They change the UI things. Selenium programming languages. Would have listed it everything here, but it's not here anymore. One minute. Okay, let it be. It's fine. So if you see, uh, if you go to Wikipedia. Can you guys see this section? JavaScript, Python, Ruby, Java, and C Sharp. Are you guys seeing this? Uh, Venu and Ashwini, are you guys seeing this? Uh, Ashwini? Oh, yes. Yeah. yes. So, Selenium, you can write in these many different languages. You can write it in JavaScript, Python, Ruby, Java, and C Sharp. So you can explicitly write Selenium with JavaScript. Then you can ask what's the use of WebDriver IO. WebDriver IO is also doing the same thing. So why, why not use directly Selenium with JavaScript? Why we are going for WebDriver IO? So WebDriver IO, you will have default classes or utility cla utilities which will 
help us to automate in a better way basically so it's a it's a framework where all the utilities in the sense many functions which will be useful for us will be already written in web driver io we can just make use of that we need not to reinvent the wheel by using selenium with javascript web driver io has its own utility functions which we can make use of to uh, write automation in an easier way basically so this will make automation easy for us so we will see how it will be helpful so first what i will do is uh, we need to install a tool called as node base so if you go to node base you just need to install this windows installer then you just need to click on next next and install i already installed it so i'm just skipping this part and once you install this if you check node iphone version open the terminal cmd in your case uh, if you are using a windows system it will be cmd node iphone version sorry node iphone v uh, so if you already install node js you will see a particular version so my version is 19.5.0 uh, is it fine ashwini Is it fine, Ashwini? I think Ashwini might not talk, right? Like she told, like she has some noise issue. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Ah, uh, Venu. Yes, Venu? yes. Just now I joined due to some network issue. Ah, uh, is it okay? Fine. Ah, uh, let me repeat it. So you need to yeah. have a tool called as Node.js pre-installed so that you can use WebDriver I/O. So you, for Node to install Node.js. You just need to search Node.js, go to the download link. So if you are using a Windows system, just click on this. You will get a exe file. Click on next, 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 and then it, it will get just it will just get installed. So I already installed in my system, and uh, I'm using a Mac system. So if you are using a Windows system, just open cmd, the command prompt, then just type node iphan v. So this is node js version. iphan v stands for version. It will tell you the version. What version is installed in your system? Is it fine, Venu? Yes, fine. Yeah. So Node.js is a prerequisite. Then now, since we have this, we will see how to install WebDriver I/O. So WebDriver I/O install. NPM. So go to the first link. copy this so npm is a uh, are you aware of maven venu are you aware of maven gradle maven ant anything no no okay no Actually, problem for the node modules installation we generally go with npm right yes so uh, no problem venu so that should be fine uh, so npm is a uh, so we need web driver i/o right Uh, isn't it venu we need web driver io right in our system yeah mm. so we can get web driver io from node and if you see this npm is a repository you can consider this as a folder where it will have all the frameworks or all the libraries inside it so web driver io you can consider this as a folder which is present under npm so from npm we will be downloading this web driver io is it clear Clear. Yeah. So you just for to install this, you just need to copy this. So what does this npm stands for? Is Node Package Manager. This i stands for install. Then web driver i/o. That's it. So you can just go to the terminal, paste it, enter. So if you see, it will install whatever files is needed for web driver i/o. so just wait for uh, 20 to 30 seconds i guess it will get installed in the meantime okay 
so if you can see 139 packages are looking for funding right so if you are doing it for the first time you will be seeing some number of packages are installed in your system is it fine you know yes yeah so once this is done i'll just clear my screen by using the clear command so that it will remain as fresh so now i will go to my explorer i'll go to a folder right click new folder i'll i'm just creating a folder let's say web driver demo i just created this project and you need some tool to write code right basically so you need jmeter to write your performance script right venu uh venu what is it yeah sorry sorry uh, yes yeah. yes jmeter no problem yeah you will be using jmeter to write your performance script right yes yes and similarly ashwini you will be needing a uh, a uh, uft to write your uh, code right basically for uft uft tool to get installed so that you can write the code right so similarly to write any javascript uh, javascript code you need a editor called as visual studio code so just search for visual studio code download just go to this link and download the respective version i already downloaded mine so i'll just open it Visual Studio Code. Uh, let me just close everything so that you can see that's fresh. Visual Studio Code. So first, you once you open it, this will be your UI. So I'll close this. If you go to File, you will see Open Folder. Click on that. So I created this folder, right? Web Driver iPhone Demo. We just created this for our project. so click on that folder click on open so we just uh, just click on this si yes, trust the authors so we just opened the empty folder is fine venu this is an empty folder right and we open the same folder in visual studio code any doubts venu so far any doubts venu ashwini any doubts shall we proceed yes yes please yeah so here what i will do now is i will go to terminal i will click on no new terminal so same thing uh, this is same to cmd instead of writing it in cmd i will be just writing it in my project itself so in the terminal what i will do is i will be, i will be using a command called as npx previously we will be using npm to install web driver io in this case it will be mpx then you need to use uh, sorry npm first we need to uh, create a project right first we need to create a project then we will use npx to run the project so npm init init stands for initialization so i will be using web driver io so wd stands for web driver io stands for io space the project location so my project location is users slash same slash web driver hyphen io so this is my project location so i will click on enter so if you see some comments are running i just enter this you can see this bot this is a a mask this is the mascot of uh, web driver io you can see it is asking for some values if you can see a project was detected at a particular location it is asking whether it is correct or not in my case it is not correct it is asking for users slash my parent folder but i want it under this folder so what i will do is i will copy this i just mention no n stands for no and i will mention my folder name uh, n i just have a doubt yes ashwini oh, no i am veena yeah veena yes sorry yeah actually i mean we can go to that particular path and as well do this installation from the command prompt as well right yes you can same thing we are doing the same thing in terminal okay yeah 
so for the next sections uh, i am just clicking on enter enter uh, so this is asking for mobile testing so we are not doing mobile testing so i'll be just clicking on n uh, so any framework if, if you can see mocha jasmine cucumber or frameworks which will help you to write web driver io test cases i'll just select the default one mocha uh, i'll select no so it is asking for any auto generated files i'll just again select let's say yes we will see what are the files it is getting generated uh, it is asking for a particular location where this file should be where should these files be located just select okay again enter again enter spec again enter enter uh, so i'll be using chrome browser so chrome browser since i'll be using chrome browser i'll be selecting chrome driver so i will click on enter so my base url is this local host only so i'll be clicking on enter i'll be clicking on enter again so this will install all the stuff so whatever we just selected we selected a framework called as mocha right it will install mocha and it will install this chrome driver as well so let's wait for some seconds so that this will get installed so you can see the folder is empty now once this is done you will see some files will get generated here okay okay sorry guys uh, i just mentioned the project name is different web driver io this is web driver demo so let me just open that project i guess this one this one this is the project name i'll just open this yes so once you do this you will see this files you this yeah, one it's an empty project previously as a result of the command whatever we ran npm in init wd io we got these files so let me just open this wdio.conf.js so what is this so this is a configuration file which will help you to configure your entire web driver io test cases so if you scroll down can you guys see this section specs can everyone see the section specs yeah yeah so specs is you can consider specs as a file which will be having your test cases uh, is it fine menu hey, yes yes the yeah, specs you can consider it as a file which will be holding your test cases and you can just mention the path of that where is the for particular files are so you can see this is under test under specs under that you can so star specifies anything star can be anything so if you are mentioning star here it can, it is specifying to let's say a b c or it can stand for b c d any value it can be any value whatever we are creating we can name the file whatever we want right so that's why it is mentioned as star dot js dot js stands for javascript so if you expand the specs so whatever test cases you are writing you just need to write it under this particular folder specs so that's what you can see here test slash specs test under test you can see specs whatever files we are writing we can write it under specs is it clear venu ashwini is it clear any doubts venu no yeah okay fine so similarly if you scroll down like you can see lot of configurations we will see everything one by one for now let's not worry about anything i'll close this file what i will do is i'll right click new we are trying to search something in google right so i will just name it as search dot spec dot js so you can see this is an empty file so before coding what i will do is we will see what how about selenium architecture selenium architecture any image just go to images you can see multiple images just to open one are you guys seeing this image everyone do you guys see this image uh venu veena are you yeah, seeing yeah, this yes, image sir. yes sir yeah 
so one minute yeah so this is selenium's architecture so we already know web driver io is internally using selenium right isn't it we already discussed web driver io is internally using selenium uh -huh. right venu yeah yeah so if you can see the left most end whatever you guys are seeing is selenium language bindings and if you see the right most end you guys are seeing real browser so what is our end goal the end goal is to run our test cases in a browser right isn't it that's our end goal mm -hmm. basically to run all this in a browser right venu uh, venu am i audible yes 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 yeah so our end goal is to run this entire test cases in browser right venu right yeah so that's why you can see the left right most end you can see real browser and left most end you can see language bindings so by using selenium you can write the code in any language you can see java you can see ruby c sharp python javascript any language you write the code it will get converted to a format called as json i will tell you what is a json so it will get converted to json then whatever command you wrote right it will be communicated to the real browsers is it clear everyone yeah 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 so if you see this is one more layer you can see the so layer is called as browser drivers so what are this so these are all programs which have been developed by the browser companies so if you see chrome browser chrome browser is having something called as chrome driver firefox browser is having something called as firefox driver similarly safari opera and edge so what this means is so google is developing chrome browser right so they are saying hey use this driver to communicate to my browser so you can see you can communicate to chrome driver chrome driver will in turn run your code in real browser that's why you can see this layer here so whatever code you are writing it will be going via chrome driver to the chrome browser did you got this venu and veena yeah yeah yes sure yeah how about you venu did you got this what is browser browser driver yes yes yeah so the, remember that's the uh, in the terminal when we install we selected chrome driver because of this purpose only so by using chrome driver we will be communicating to the chrome browser that's it simple so now let's see how we can automate this so in any javascript file so since it is a test test file right which will be having our test cases what i will do is first i will write something called as describe describe then brackets after that so this describe is will accept two values the first value is what is the first value this will accept is it will tell what this entire describe will do or entire file right this entire file what this file is responsible for so search functionality or let's say to test search functionality so that's why we are writing this uh, entire uh, file right do you guys agree we are trying to automate the steps and if you can see that's why we are writing this isn't it venu yeah yeah so you can see describe i can do i can name whatever i want here so i can write whatever value i want it just plain english so i am using to test search functionality that's it so this can be called as a test scenario are you guys aware of test scenario yeah yes. yeah okay so the test scenario name you can write it here so comma the second value you just need to mention double brackets equal to greater than symbol followed by flower brackets we will discuss about these things in a while we discuss about javascript topics for now just consider the second parameter is this and you whatever code you have to write you have to write inside this values i'll explain clearly what this are during the javascript discussion so after this so we have described the first parameter is the test scenario name second parameter i just mentioned some value bracket arrow mark followed by flower brackets 
So this can be con this describe can be considered as a test scenario. So one test scenario can have multiple test cases, right? Do you guys agree? When one, Veena? Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. So each test case you need to write as it block. So it you have to write it like this. It. So it can it, it will be one test case. So what is the test case? Whatever we are trying to do. This is the test case, right? We copy this description of the test case. I'll put it here. The first parameter. Second parameter is similar to the describe brackets equal to greater than symbol then flower brackets. Whatever code I write inside this will be my test case. Is it clear, Venu? Okay. Yeah, is it clear, Venu? Any doubts? Yeah. No. So what I have to do here is, let me just copy this guy, put it here. So you cannot write some random values here. So we need to comment this. So how can you comment in JavaScript is, just select this, control forward slash. It will put double slashes before that so that VS Code won't consider these lines. So this will be called as a comment. So I will just save this. It will just reformat. It's fine. So these steps we need to achieve or we need to automate this. So how can I do that? So first thing is browser. There is a there is a value called as browser in WebDriver IO, which will help you to interact with any browser. Is it clear? Browser. Any doubts with this? With using this value browser, you can interact with the real browser. And since we already mentioned, yes, yes, we know. Yeah, is it a class or? No, it's a way object. It's an object. Okay. Yeah, I'm not mentioning the terms because uh, Venu might not be knowing this, so that's why. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. So, if you go to uh, the configuration file, uh, so. Can you see Venu here? Browser name is equal to Chrome. It's generated by default, right? Can you see this? Uh, Venu, are you there? I I think like the options which we select will give here this value, right? Should yes, we? yes. Whatever you mention, you can mention it here. Let's say Firefox, Microsoft Edge, okay. Safari, whatever value you can mention it here. Uh, is it clear, Venu? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. So what I will do is this browser will refer to whatever value you are putting inside this. So basically we are putting Chrome. So browser will be referring to that Chrome browser. Is it fine, Venu? Yeah, fine, fine. Yeah. So what is the first step? First step is opening any browser. So we have the browser. So what is the second step? We need to go to www.google.com, right? So we'll copy this guy. So we have a function. Uh, you know, I will explain you about functions during JavaScript discussion again. So you can just mention browser dot URL, then brackets, whatever link you want to go right. You can just mention it like this. Is it fine? Browser dot URL. I'm saying go to this particular URL. Yeah. So and one more thing is. We need to add a keyword called as async. This is a JavaScript concept again. I'll explain whatever async is. For now, you just need to await, put the stay, uh, keyword await. Async and await, I will explain during JavaScript discussion. For now, just assume we just need to put these two keywords before all the lines. This keyword be for every test case and this await keyword for every line. So, is it fine, Venu? Uh, so like Sharat, like we need yes. not instantiate any driver like how we do it no. in the cell. No, it will directly not pick and load the URL onto the browser. Exactly, yes. Yeah. Any doubts, Venu? Shall I proceed? Uh, shall I proceed, Venu? I think he is having some internet issues. He is like leaving and then coming in. Oh. Okay, okay, okay.
got it uh just wait a minute let him join so that we can resume yeah yeah that's okay I mean, uh, generally, like, can yes. can we take describe as a test case and then it blocks as a test steps? Uh, no. Or is it always describe as a test scenario and it blocks as a test case? Yes. And each each block will be having multiple steps. Hmm. Yeah. If you are familiar with the uh, test ng, are you familiar with test ng? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. A little yeah, bit. So, okay. So, class, right? You will be having Java class. Correct. Describe is equivalent to a class and at the rate test, right? Each yeah. block is equivalent to at the rate test. That's it. And this process will will it differ? Like generally, there are they are using TypeScript as well, right, Sharath? In 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 WebDriver mm. IO, it's mm. not mm. only the JavaScript. So will this yes. process differ when it comes to TypeScript? Uh, not exactly. It will be the same. So TypeScript will just enforce some rules for JavaScript. That's it. Internally, it will again convert the code in JavaScript only. So it's an optional one. You can write. So how we are writing it may differ if you are using TypeScript. Okay. Yeah. Because like in my project, they are using TypeScript. Mm -hmm. And they are mm -hmm, using mm -hmm. every it block as a test step. So okay. Are you guys using Cucumber? Are you guys using Cucumber? Uh, no, it's a mocha with uh, mm. this only. But uh, mm -hmm. that, that is how they implemented the framework actually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Got it. Like if we have Jira test cases and then each mm. test step should match the it, mm. it block. Okay. Okay. We have five okay. steps, then we will have five bits. Hmm. Five it's not a best way to do it. Hmm. Yeah. And one describe good. block for one test case. Yeah, one describe block for one test case. Yes. Okay. Okay. Got it. But at the, at the, finally, like every it will do whatever functionality we write inside it, right? Exactly. Yes. Uh, I'm not seeing him. Uh, let's give me one more minute, then we'll just assume one finishes. And you will be explaining about the locator stuff as well, right? Shara? Yes, yes, everything. So you can see the course content here uh, in the official website. You can see all the course contents in this particular link. Maybe I can ping you in the chat box. You can go through it. Yeah. Okay. So it's not joining it. So let's proceed. So the first step is this. So how to run a web driver IO test case. So I will go to terminal, new terminal. So now you need to use a command called as npx. So again, since it is used in your project, it may be different. They may have oh. something related to package.json. Yes. Correct. Inside the package.json, they have yeah. a, a name called and yeah, yeah, that I'm aware of. You can yeah. Yes. So npx wdio run. You just need to mention the configuration file because configuration file in turn having your spec file. So spec you file. can just mention the mention the configuration file, location of the configuration file, then followed by uh, or let me just for now just delete this guy, delete it, comment him. The file which got generated, I just commented it. I'll just yeah, because it will take all the spec files inside it. Exactly. Yes. So it will now start running. You see, a Chrome browser got initialized, and we went to Google.com. So it'll be very faster. If you want to pass the browser, you can use a command called as browser dot pass. You can just specify the number of seconds. 
This is in milliseconds. Milliseconds, correct. So, if you run this again, yeah, you can see Google.com. Correct. So, the first second step is also done. What, what about the third step? So, third step, we need to interact with. So, after we load the browser, uh, is he in it? Okay. okay. Since you already know about locator, right? I will make it short. Yeah. So, to you, know, you would have know like uh, HTML yeah. is the code, whatever. Yes. Yeah. HTML is the code. Uh, the developers write so that we can see this elements in a part of a web page. Yeah. So, yes. to, uh, so our goal is to write a value here in this particular box. So mm -hmm. this, we can consider this as a text box. So we need to tell WebDriver IO where this text box is basically. Mm -hmm. So write, inspect this. So you can see a tag. Uh, are you seeing this text area tag? Yep. So this text area tag is responsible for this particular box. And uh, you can see multiple attributes here. Class is equal to something. JS action is equal to something. ID is equal to something. So ID will be unique. If uh, an element has an ID attribute, it will be unique for that element. You cannot find two elements with the same ID in that entire page. Yes. So I will take this ID so that I will tell WebDriver IO, hey, go to this ID and find this element. As simple as that. So I will go to the code. Again, I will create a constant. Let's say search input is equal to await browser dot. Uh, you might be knowing find elements, right? Here it is dollar symbol followed by the ID you need to mention. So since you are directly mentioning the ID, you need to mention hash followed by the ID. Is it fine? This line, yeah, I got it. Yeah. If it's an ID, so, you we go with hash, yes. So, I'll copy this guy. So, we will be now having access to that particular text box. So, the text box dot there is a method called as set value, yeah. Yeah, so in this, I'll be just sending mobile, and for this one as well, we need to make use of that await statement. So after we enter mobile, we can just click on enter, right? Yeah. So we we need to perform the click uh, enter action. So browser search input dot or uh, not search input, sorry, browser. You can set directly to the browser, browser dot keys enter. So it will send the enter key. So it will be something like the cursor will be here. It will be just entering mobile, right? So the cursor will be default here. It will browser where you for the browser you are just sending the entire key. So which will result in this action, searching action. So let me just run this. Terminal. Arrow, same thing, uh, not this command. One minute. npx wdio run dot slash w config enter. So it will open the browser now. Go to the URL. Enter mobiles and click on enter. That's it. So after two seconds, it will close the browser as well. So opening browser, closing browser, it will be taken care of by uh, uh, WebDriver IO and any weights, right? Dynamic weights. So waiting for an element, those kind of stuffs will be also taken care by WebDriver IO itself. So like and, uh, if you have yes. multiple locators, then won't the Pick file look like. See, I mean, you're just we are just passing with the dollar hash mm. in this fashion, mm. right? So you have two mm. or three, then the spec file won't. I mean, 
no ideally this is this is uh, we are just automating this particular action okay. so if you want to write a complex framework mm -hmm. all the objects right will be moved to page objects if you see there is a folder oh, called yeah, page correct, objects correct correct yeah yeah I, you, i mean we have that model kind of thing like mm -hmm. where you have locators in one and then we have so yes. this elements and then methods we have that structure. exactly exactly yes so if you see you this i guess you can that, see right? this yeah definitely we'll be okay. building a framework from scratch okay okay so you can see the page objects so yeah this is about the uh, web driver i was so we'll be uh, the topics will be will be trying to interact with most of the elements then we will write a framework out of this then we will run this entire thing by using jenkins by uh, cicd tool in this case we will be using jenkins that's it yeah yes that's the whole idea of this web driver i would close and one more specialty about web driver i was you can also do api testing using web driver i was and you can also do mobile testing with the web driver i was so same project you can have ui test cases api test cases and mobile test cases Hmm. So that is one more specialty of web driver. So if a project where they want to do both UI and mobile automation, they will prefer web driver. Okay. So yeah. So I'll just ping you uh, the person contact number. You can get in touch with him. Uh, his name is Kumar Gupta. I'll ping his mm -hmm. number as well for anything related to the course, the start date, commercials. You can contact him. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Any other questions, Siva? No. You will be you will be the uh, trainer, right? Yes, so? I'll be the trainer. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah. So if you want any other topics to get included, just let me know on the fly. We can include it. That shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Cool. Okay, Vina. Any, if not any other questions, we can wind up. Yeah, I don't have any questions. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks cool. for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Vina. Have a great day. Bye.